Hello and welcome to the Repeating Podcast. Uh, my name is Ayush, and today we have three different people coming in from different parts of the country and uh, joining in on the podcast today. We have Boss Man Sagar Lele. We have a new intern with us named Lux, and we have a subject matter expert and one of our fund managers, Mr. Prasanna Bidkar, with us today to shine light on quite an interesting stock that's not had quite an interesting history in the past one one and a half years and has been down, I think, thirty percent since. Uh, but is known for providing its discount to countless Indians across the country. And this is none other than DMART or known on the bourses as Avenue Supermarts. So I think we can just start the discussion there and why has the downside happened, what the reasons are, and we can take it from Before there. Before that, uh, we can start at this place. So yeah. DMART, why is there such a fan following, firstly? It's not yeah. care about <laughs> RK the money and DMART that people go like full ballistic about it. <laughs> I think the name in itself is enough of a gravitas puller, just standing his history and the money he's placed in various places and that doing well. Ah, but like the way people look at uh, the money, they like they treat him like God. That's God, like, yeah, yeah. For us, So, but I don't have that much history. But the Prasanna probably can highlight why the money is so famous. We are discussing about the fan following for Demart. Now you know our decisions are made from kitchen for Demart, and. Best part they had always was uh, everyday low price. Okay, EDLP they had. And each and every, whether you stay in Pawai, whether you stay in Pawai, any, any city you stay, any locality you stay, uh, what a woman wants is discount. And that is from 1998, they are providing, and that's the only following. Even I get a list and I need to buy it from demand. Okay, so that's the basic. So that's why there is a lot of fan following. We have a financial angle to that, but as far as non investors are considered, yeah. Uh, their strategy, everything under one roof is what they get the fan following for. And everyone uh, discusses about whether you have a demand in locality or not. So that's the basic. <laughs> I think that's yeah. become quite the meme also recently. Like, apart from just being a solid uh, discount provider from a retail perspective, just knowing that there's a demand around you has become quite a retail or a real estate meme now where all the real estate brokers in Bombay are saying that there's a DMART hai pe, to the ghar bekega kind of situation. And that's taken it to a very high extent. But that really exactly. started from where? Do you remember the first? What are the first videos? Yeah, yeah, I, I, forgot, I forgot his name. Uh, Lux, do you know the the real estate no, broker's no. name? No, I don't remember the name. But the but, yeah. line that he uses is "Demart ke upar ghar mil jayega." Aa jao dikha dunga. And since then, it's gone. Demart ke pass mein. Yeah. Demart ke pass mein. Yeah. Hey, look, uh, uh, Demart and all is still working. I mean, look, I, I also follow real estate and analyze that. So despite all these delivery guys providing everything at your doorstep, they, are, they have maintained their uh, space in all, all uh, grocery categories and even yeah. for merchandise. So there is something that they are providing. So whether it is Dunlow, whether it is Big Basket or something which are delivering at doorstep, still people prefer it. Yeah. Means I've seen people buying three, four cards. I will give you one example. Recent image I, I just put on Twitter also. So I visited a Reliance retail store and I had a list given by wife. Okay, I only could get 40 to 50 percent of stocks from Reliance Retail, and that management manager there had no idea whether that new fill up will be there or not. Next day, I visited with similar list, and I bought 150 percent of what list was given. So I buy that additional thing because it is that uh, showcasing of those products which are like you uh, do it suddenly, and that that buying is there. So that is what always had an upper hand. That one is to one free or something new which is kept on that uh, desk or something. So it is, I buy more. So th- that differentiates. So I don't know whether people agree to that. And uh, second part, what I always like about it, the uh, kind of uh, breadth they have in terms of product. Okay. So you ask for it and they have three, four options and best price is being given. Otherwise, people are very adamant in most of the other retail parts, uh, other retail uh, stores you will find. You don't get options. So that. I look at very basics. I, yeah. I'm not getting into financials or something, but when I'm looking at it, I'm looking at a very basic factor. So availability of goods, num- so breadth and even the length because volumes are available. So if I ask for something, because I had a function at my place, I asked for 120 units of something which, which I needed. And within half an hour, it is delivered. So that way they have the volume part as well. If I same, I ask for other retail, whether it is Reliance, whether it is Big Basket, I'm not getting that quantity part, volume part. So that's the basic thing. Another basic thing I look for. So availability of goods. 
and they make it possible i don't know I mean, you have gone through the that if you uh, miss, uh, i don't know how many uh, stores people visit in terms of demand but uh, it is compulsion i will fill up my cart i will get the groceries i will put that dump that into my car that dicky okay and i visit the second and third floor so that way it increases curiosity the kind of uh, merchandise they have the kind of uh, goods they come out with they tie with all local vendors as well so availability of goods so that is another factor when i uh, what differentiates demand from other retail stores i guess sagar uh, if we be discussed about the the pricing part that is one part but availability part is another important but if i am not getting it i'm of it i i, I may be possibly i may not visit that store again that's the right. that's basic i'm looking for have you been to a demart ayush i have this actually one quite close like walking distance from my house right now and it's always packed regardless of a weekday or a weekend there's always a queue there's always option yeah. and availability as the sana sir mentioned so that but it's one of those stores where it's like fast churn right there's no nonsense yeah. you shop and there's no time to like uh, browse around and stuff like that because uh, in your head you're like itna lamba line hai itna lamba line hai check out karke nikal raha hai late ho raha hai so you're like browsing through and then gone directly and i think that's so, one of the things that they focused on right or rather not focused on which is aesthetic of the store isn't something hmm. that they are uh, really keen yeah. on. the objective is so the, you get what you're there for and then leave i think that's what makes the difference like if you go to in suppose in pune if you go to a doraji's or something right it's a way it's like a shopping experience and like normal people or like uh, you can say some some people below or like the lower middle class people they wouldn't want to go for an experience they would want to go to like a more simple place where they feel that they belong i think that's what dmart has done like there's no there's no like shosha it's normal you come you buy your palleji you buy your bread and then you go out okay uh i will just add one factor there because this this is one change that has happened over the year you know if earlier demart stores you had we anyone had visited uh, mm. hardly one trolley or two trolleys can cross each other okay that was hardly that was possible but over the period if you could see the uh, square footage has increased for demart mm-hmm. stores okay and that mm. has made so earlier if i miss if i was concerned when uh, i used to visit bombay stores or something so I, my preference was hyper city yeah. because it was an experience okay i didn't mm. like demart that way but for savings and yeah. all i used to visit demart but now if you could visit demart stores they are uh, uh, in terms of square footage they have increased but in terms of uh, goods which are kept there that has reduced so the area which has increased it gives them an experience which hyper city and everyone used to give so apart from that uh, if you could add the number of look uh, they have they had a disadvantage earlier because most of the other stores which were the retail stores com- means competition they were all rented places okay all were leased and demand always most of them most of the stores are own stores so what used to happen that they were utilizing the space to fullest now in tier 3 and tier 4 cities tier 2 and tier 3 cities where they are increasing now about uh, the space they are getting is larger and that gives an experience so that is adding adding to the value uh, i will tell you i spent more time earlier it was yes it was there a uh, line hai i need to get into that line i need to pay off and i need to move but right now most of the stores are larger uh, and they are giving experience as lakshmi mentioned that it's, it was an experience and right from uh, an auto rickshaw driver to a car owner to so car, suv chala raha yeah. everyone visits there they shop Demand, together yeah. so there is no differentiation so that is that also differentiates hyper city was very upper class so agar main wahan pe agar jata so and then the future bazaars or others they were completely smaller stores large stores mein there is no competition for demand so in terms of business look when we look for any investment i need to understand that business so i am more about about speaking about their business strategy and not the what they are selling or what price they are being uh, trading on the bourses so business part they are differentiated in many terms like i mentioned edlp and like i mentioned the experience which they are getting now their own place which doesn't put any any pressure of uh, rental increase incremental rental increase every year which cost around uh, at what margins uh, retail stores operate very low so if my most of the lease rentals are increasing 10% to 12% every year that impacts my margin so that makes a business sense to own something and then expand that is what demart is being following for years 
but uh, which is a very valid point right like you spoke about the whole increase in uh, space um, and while that improves your experience uh, that has also been a major factor that has resulted in the uh, financial metrics being bad or at least optically looking bad um, and and that must have also contributed to the stock falling in recent times right um, exactly. but uh, so could you highlight a little about like how Uh, like my understanding is that it's it's a very temporary phenomena where because you're adding stores uh, which are larger, obviously you'll see, see a dip in terms of uh, metrics that you track in terms of revenue per square foot or whatever. Uh, but as in when the crowd increases or as in when the store matures, because you won't reach maturity on day one. So as in when the store matures, obviously these metrics will start to improve. Um, so should an investor be looking at a point where you're looking at the bottom in terms of this metric going down? or should you just be ignoring the metric altogether and saying ki they are heading in the right direction so might as well keep investing in the stock okay uh, look uh, if we consider for this means if we consider for demand if i am looking at the same store sales growth it's been consistent there is no major decline happening but what uh, new additions happened the footfalls have been low and the uh, sales per square foot if we consider that even that has not been as good as it was earlier in terms of before covid okay so what has happened is the new stores which were supposed to add growth actually were draggers on them for for last few two years and that impacted their margin as you rightly mentioned that uh, if the, the usage of the space is lower that impacts the margin and in, margin impact was visible for last two years but now what happens is with the stores maturing properly and uh, uh, footfall increasing inflation declining and there is a good disposable income that stays with uh, this middle class what we can say which is the largest spender in terms of groceries and even merchandises so i guess this is the right period where margins are uh, i'm not expecting any decline in terms of margins rather i will expect that margins are going to improve uh, going ahead with the same stores which were the drag for last two years i can say 18 months or something to be very specific 18 months during that period only stock has declined and now it is it is at a position where again the discount thing will start working volumes will improve and uh, fmcg where companies early are had a few pressures again with the inflation in terms of food and other parts declining that part will also play a larger part in terms of company getting uh, better deals uh, with the fmcg companies uh, if we could see uh, demand okay if you i don't know whether you have seen that billing or not so they categorize in terms based on the gst part okay so what happens is major focus is on the part where the gst is lowest 5% okay or zero in terms of a few of the items there is zero gst so what happened is uh, i was just looking at the billing part and they also mentioned in there that uh, where the gst has been lowest volumes are increasing okay so that is the necessary part people are doing. so uh, what i expect but their margins are lower for them so as soon as the where that gst part stabilizes and luxury kind of uh, things start picking up which i expect that yes the inflation pulling down that also happens then margins will start improving so that's the base we need to look at so we need to categorize in terms of what uh, percentage uh, gst is charged and how much volumes increase and you know the, towards the value chain the end may margins are higher so that will start happening from next quarter so let's see i guess june or september quarter where our uh, festival starts that time you can see major traction visible in terms of volumes right so more than the store additions or the increase in space uh, the obviously the larger structural factor not structural cyclical factor was inflation right i think that would have impacted a majority of their revenue or the revenue composition even uh, which again impacts margins but as you rightly said i think now those pressures guess, are off and that seems to be getting better right uh, look we need to look for what kind of private label sales they are selling look if you if you visit they have a prima name uh, brand which they own okay they, that is their own brand so it starts from means from uh, uh, what you can see staples se leke to even in ma- 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 masalas and all they have started selling on their under their own brand so there is a what happens is there is a marginal quality difference okay in what they sell in loose and what they sell under their private label but the margins they earn through that is huge so once that private label starts getting up so we need to look at those sales growth what exactly under their own private labels and own brand what they are selling uh 
I visited I recently. Think, sorry, there's a similar story for these also, right? Like Dunzo and Zepto and everybody. Uh, the bull case that you make for these companies is also that once they start selling their private labels, uh, is when their margins will shoot up. Uh, so exactly. I think for every retailer, that's like a retailer or delivery person, whatever. It's, it's like a common theme across. Uh, get it mass produced and sell it into your own brand. Is that so? Growth has been stagnant in that private label in terms of absolute terms. There has been no decline. Okay, so growth was not there and that was impacting them. So once that growth getting the, or volume start improving again, I guess uh, we need to look at what margins they earn. I guess uh, from this festive season, that margin should improve. And but, uh, on the higher side, like you said, like the higher end of the spectrum when it comes to goods, like for example, they were doing clothes and apparel as well, right? Um, but how much do you think those sales can come back given the fact that Zudio is picking up like crazy? Like every city, Zudio is expanding so aggressively and I don't know, like it's just the price that is attracting people so much. 199 pant mil raha hai, 299 And everybody's rushing to Zudio. So a lot of the DMART's chunk of clothes and apparel sales would be taken by Zudio as well, right? Or some other brands maybe that have come up. Yes, I also look, we have trend in portfolio. I know so I, Zudio was one of the reasons why trend was added. Okay, it's not that they are not catching up, but the, I will tell you very frankly what happens is it is how sustainable that pricing would be. For demand, I know since 1999 2000, they have been one of the pioneers in terms of EDLP concept, lowest price. But what happens is most of the other retailers they start getting into they start breaking prices and all, but whether it is sustainable for them or not. So if Zudio continues for next 18 months, I will consider it as a competition. But if they are not able to sustain those prices for longer than 18 months or 24 months, then everything comes back uh, to demand. And I will tell you, uh, there is a mind block. Okay. That, uh, yes, entry price is 199. I agree. But also the highest price. If you visit demand, the highest price is not more than 499 or 799. Okay, but in Zudio, I know. So if I am not getting a choice in 199, but in Dmart at 99 t t-shirt, I will get X number of items. That is not in Zudio. Okay, so though I like Zudio, it's not that they are not providing that. But how sustainably they do it for next 18 months, we need to see. So look, we, when we wrote about Dmart, uh, opening of uh, Zudio, Reliance Retails, Trends, this was seen as a, one of the major impacts. But as I recently mentioned you about that uh, Dima, Reliance thing, so I spoke to them. I lodged a complaint that, yes, uh, this is what I'm not getting. These are basic things which should be available in your store. So they told me in Nagpur only six stores are closing down, shutting down. So unless and until they are shut down and their inventories are not distributed to other stores, they are not getting a refill. That doesn't happen with Dmart. I don't know how many of you know. There is only one store they have closed in their overall history. Otherwise, they haven't shut any, any uh, Dmart store. Okay, so that's the history they have. Look, it's all about historical facts I'm speaking, speaking about, but, but uh, competition is declining. If someone has to buy a store, they'll obviously put much more thought in it and then buy the store, right? So yes. that's why they've probably never shut one. Reliance ka kabhi bhi lease pe le liya, uh, you put up stores, aggressively expand and then realize that, yeah, we consolidate karna padega. We've, we've run ahead too much. That uh, same happened to Future also, Future Bazaar also. They yeah. expanded exponentially and they could not sustain that growth. So sustainability is what I am still doubt. Look, I am not doubting trends. Uh, sorry, uh, Zudio the ability to sustain stores, but sustain at that lower prices is what I am doubting, doubting about. So if that is sustained, yes, it's a it's a clear threat to demand. But at I don't know till what uh, date at rupees ninety nine or one ninety nine they will be able to sell. But demand has been able to sell that for years. That is one part. And secondly, uh, uh, what thing is now, if you see demand ka model is completely different. It's if you visit, I'm not speaking about Bombay. I'm speaking about the tier two cities where tier three cities where they are now expanding. It's outskirts. It's like 15 kilometers, 12 to 15 kilometers away where the land is cheap in trends and everyone. It's a plush locality. So we need to consider that every year there is going to in to be increase in terms of rentals. They are not going to see increase in the rentals. Rather, the, as a locality approach is there, which is outskirts, volumes increase. For these people, if any new competition come up, margins will be impacted. That is what I'm looking at. So I'm very longer term thing uh, focus I'm looking at. 18 to 24 months is not a very long period in terms of for Tata's and all. But if they are able to sustain that prices, 
have a buyer for print again but otherwise demand will keep that uh, position at number 1 in terms of market well sorry april and all <clears throat> and uh, another part was like uh, we can say that uh, competition has been mentioned but number of stores closure has started and as interest rate, look what happened i will tell you very frankly uh, earlier there were many empty spaces in terms of commercials and uh, malls everywhere was there because of the covid naya kuch commercial space aa nahi raha tha so what happened is rentals didn't increase but suddenly there is a hike in terms of increase 20 to 22% which was earlier 10 to 12% so we need to see that impact how others are taking it up in for next uh, fy24 how it comes so if that now rental ka impact doesn't come on demand but for other retailers it comes up so need to check uh, how how the, that is passed on to customer and whether they are able to sustain that lower pricing as competitive to be with the demand chalo now ayush and lakshu have one one question ka opportunity yeah uh, i am quite too long <laughs> yeah no no i have one question so um, you said that uh, demart and zudio they is like zudio has a bit higher prices than demart correct but uh, zudio also gives a better shopping experience it gives you a shopping experience whereas demart mein kya hai ke one aisle is chips the next aisle might be your shorts or t-shirts or something so like uh, don't you think that also that factor also comes into play where uh, zudio is trying to give you an entire shopping experience like if you enter it, it the store doesn't feel any less than uh, an h&m or a zara store the quality might differ the prices might differ of course But like the experience, they still give off like entering suppose a West Side or something like that's also Tata Ka. So that's on the higher end compared to Zudio. So you think that also will play or uh, that doesn't matter in case of Demart and Zudio, like the competition for apparel. Look, I agree on that part that it gives an experience because I have visited personally visited both. Yeah, both same, 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 same. Exactly. But what happens is uh, uh, when I when I am purchasing something in terms of groceries, okay. and yes. i'm getting both things at one place okay so number of visits are higher in demand oh. as compared to zudio i am it's very specific i need to buy this clothes or something cut so footfalls i'm not comparing huh. that uh, that experience part and i will yeah, tell you very frankly what happens experience part comes later what huh. if i'm getting something value for my money i'm ready to buy so that okay. comes in and uh, zudio kind of uh, things what what uh, you are mentioning about so it's very specific okay you won't get uh, each and every kind of uh, occasion yeah. uh, kind of thing so correct, correct, correct. for at demand right from my interview to 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 the end part agar mujhe kuch naya bhi launch hua hai which is like uh-huh. coming up as a new fashion it is available there though it looks cheap still cheap. there is a yes. population which buys that uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a. Uh, I agree with that. Also, I've seen this trend that uh, wherever Demart is known, Zudio, at least over here where I live, Zudio has opened a store in the same mall. Sorry, so, I, I could not hear. Sorry. So Zudio has opened the store in the same mall. So do you think that will because now like where at least where I live, you get out of Demart and there's a Zudio ka store. So if Tata go comes up with that strategy, that either be Demart hai, like whichever mall suppose has a Demart or something. There, in like suppose hundred steps' ke distance, maybe we'll open another Zudio. So okay, I I won't happen? take it as because I don't know how many malls uh, Demart would be present going here because they own the space or something. At least in tier two, three cities, there are hardly any malls where yeah. you know, are present together. One or two okay, means like places would be there, but uh, I don't know because uh, Demart usually takes it for three to four floors and all, so that's correct, a huge correct. capacity which only possible. Uh, either outskirts, so similar to Walmart, uh-huh. what they used to say, "Ki bhai, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to Indian buy it outside, Walmart. need to make it cheap, and then people come and buy." So Zudio is with different. Look, I met a Zudio owner, and the problem with Zudio is that they are also giving franchises. Oh, so that okay. is one issue. Whether he is deep pocket or not, the money is so that that's hmm. the different. He can bring down the prices to any level. Any he can level. hold that low prices forever. How much that franchise okay. is going to sustain that? you need to see so that oh. another part is there and once that store is closed because of the franchise error na so you know when i visit zudio na i i won't purchase i, I give it to my kids and wife ki bhai ghumo but i speak to the manager store manager so how often that is churned how much 
orders they need to give how the fashion changes and zudio has also similar trend huh? you won't get what you get in mumbai you won't get it in bilaspur nagpur and jharkhand yeah. mein nahi milega once that is store sold which is not sold as a inventory there it is sent there it is not the case with dmart they are pan mm. india same so that is the difference so okay tier 2 mein jahan pe growth hai uh, whether it is west side whether it is trends whether it is zudio unsold inventory is of tier 1 metros is being sent there then you are getting it so pan india similar price and similar it is not available so what is available in mumbai is not available in nagpur uh-huh. and uh, bilaspur this is my personal okay. experience what i am sharing okay. because i have visited all okay. three okay so look these are very simple common sense okay. things i don't know whether it makes an impact or not but these are the common things which we can differentiate to retail chains so that is what these are uh-huh. common sense things Yes. Sir. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Brand plugin <laughs> necessary. <laughs> Actually, even I have a short answer to this one. Uh, this is applicable in most cases where, uh, for example, Domino's Gaya, a premium brand, goes to tier two, tier three. they see a sudden dip in the average order value for example right uh, what will happen in the case of dmart is they are anyway targeting income groups that are not premium uh, so what happens in tier 2 tier 3 or any other uh, lower uh, per capita income region is that they will see a very high footfall and probably they'll break even at a faster rate that's my take i don't know prasanna will know better in terms of no i will tell you very uh, now i just visited uh, two of stores in nagpur okay there are two dmarts now and they are opening three more okay so all four corners and there will be central facilities so what happened is like in nagpur you can travel within half an hour or 35 40 minutes you can travel across the city still they are opening five so i just met a vendor i asked him so you are getting additional orders when two stores open he was like no uh, i was supplying 100 now i am supplying 120 or 130 so one store gets 65 another store store gets 60 so if five stores are open he was expecting look i am not expecting if from 100 i am moving to 500 i may move to supplying 250 packets or something so average consumption decline because what happens in tier 2 is the travel time is different so if, if a new store is opening there which they are targeting right now for tier 2 and tier 3 cities i don't think that as you rightly mentioned yes uh, volume may not increase that significantly and it was but what happens now yush uh, when we look at investment i'm looking i'm not looking at now i'm looking at what happens 12 to 18 months and 24 months later so once th- those stores are matured and from 250 packet that vendor is sending increases to 350 then my volumes are coming and my margins are coming so that basic i need to look yes that 18 months are gone 18 to 24 months are gone what i'm looking for is uh, once that base is there and population increases in tier 2 and tier 3 cities same stores are getting more footfalls and volumes then it starts so it takes 24 months and i guess we have passed out or some passed on about how many 18 months are there jab se niche gira hai so wait for 6 months that's what i'm asking that uh, festive season for this festive season once that starts we need to look at, look at the, those margins and if that that would be more kind of sustainable margins they will be carrying for next fy24 and 25 as well uh visit one store okay and look uh, dmart is another concept where all local vendors are involved okay so visit any any smaller city like jo bhi bombay se nazdeek hoga sangli satara kolhapur and then ask them how they source it it's completely different from what other retail stores are sourcing from okay so it gives them an edge over others they tie up immediately immediate cash and carry model whatever you come in if you are the lowest price i'm paying in cash he is happy even store managers are happy so that that concept is working for them it is not possible for other retail chains they have a centralized authority that it takes time order flow hone mein fir wahan pe refill karne mein so that's the difference the, the, like i mentioned main 100 ka list leke jata hu 150 cheez leke aata hu that makes different for demand so i don't know uh, as a bachelor or or the merit hum uh, log thoda sa alag sochte honge but yes there is some some buying which happens suddenly hum log soch ke bhi nahi jaate aur ho jata hai and problem thing is na 
that doesn't cost me more than 50 or 100 rupees so i am ready to spend it unless i need yeah. more than 1000 rupees ka the way i am uh, looking for other agar main yahan pe ja raha hu na to main wo 99 and 199 ka t-shirt additional le leta hu specifically main 199 ka t-shirt lene ke liye koi store visit i am not going to do that so that's okay. that's the difference that adds to volumes and my margins so basically despite the fall in dmart we have uh confidence here ki aayega wapas i won't say that confidence whether it will reach that another high of 5895 or something uh, because thing is there is something called as valuation look what there is no good or bad company it is the valuation that makes it look good or bad so valuation wise if i am okay with that i feel i still feel uh paying something 90x for something or more than 100x for something is very very uh high price we are paying or in terms of valuation so if i am getting it at right valuation which i was getting for 3300 or 4000 in between that that was a good time to add those shares because that time right right value i was getting for it possibly at if it touches again we were same high which i which it was 18 months back uh then the uh, look what happens as 75% of the times it is the pe multiple which increases it's not the eps that increases so yeah. it's a game of <laughs> that so you at particular point i feel yes uh, my eps is also increasing and my pe multiple is also increasing that combination will take it to new high uh, but that anybody's guess when that happens but i still feel at this point of time they are uh, not uh, overpriced or something they are fairly or below that valuation which one should buy it that's okay i'm not saying that it's a blind buy or something or it's a very just because everyone is speaking about it and i'm spending in demand mera bill bahut lamba nikal ke aa raha hai so i'm buying that it doesn't happen if that is applicable to other businesses it's burning cash not like that okay so uh, i don't feel that uh, it will be a runaway winner or something it will be a slow and steady because it has from 600 to 5 6000 is like a dream run and it doesn't happen every time okay so to get back to those golden days and that earning capabilities it will take some time but i always patience pays we need to be, be bit patient about uh, what uh, people are in terms of investing because every time wo value nahi milega jo dmart store mein milta hai <laughs> main to aise danzo pe order kar leta hu whatever is giving me like the highest end pe discount hota hai na that is so deceptive but everything is charged higher uh, yeah. i am not paying attention to what i'm paying for how much Plus, yeah. I think it comes in when you start buying in bulk, like when you take like full house ka for one month. That time. Ah, my shopping is to daily, daily. Ah, that's all. Spaghetti banana, so I'm spaghetti ka saman. Ah, exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> I think that's why. No, look, it it needs to be a planned thing. Okay, if I'm yeah. because I'm just a family thing, is I'm purchasing it's fine. But if I'm single, I I won't matter. If I'm 12 kilometers, I'm not driving there. I'm not taking it. So that that's also there. So it adds. depends yeah. on what situation you are <laughs> but the thing is uh, now dmart has started hello yeah yeah we can hear yeah dmart has started opening it closer to like inside the cities as well like uh, in my city at least there's one dmart that is 1 km away and then the other dmart is just 7 km away and then there's another which is around 6 km to on the other side so like they are building their presence inside the city as well at least in cities like pune and bombay also i think if nia usual house if it's open then bombay mein bahar kholega to koi jayega nahi ha that's also true to wo fir ikea ho jayega yeah but i noticed this thing in baroda the zodio is next to the reliance mall ha that's what they, it's like they are yeah uh, but they are going to other shoppers ha wo bar ke bahar cigarette wala hota na waisa wala is ha it's like that too <laughs> या तो अल्कोहल शॉप के बाहर दोस्त चना वाला था सेटिंग हां एंड दैट्स आवर ऐप 